Crime and punishment. <laughs> Such trifles may fall on him, and on him, but not on moi. I answer only to my king, and should I transgress, as was rumoured in 1426, then a short period of exile at my country estates is surely penance enough. A little matter of open warfare in the streets of the town with that puffed-up scoundrel, Lord Molyneux. Only a threat, mind. No, here in Liverpool, I am the law. I look down on him. Who wouldn't? But I only pretend to look up to him. But if the truth be known, they both look up to me. Cos I really run things in Liverpool. How? Business, of course. As a free man, I dictate Liverpool's fortunes. What gets made, who makes it, prices, and who comes and goes. Set the laws and serve up the punishments, too. <laughs> that said, I must confess to some weaknesses in my dealings with lesser mortals. Namely, short measures on beer, selling bad meat. Not that the odd fine is going to deter me from wanting to be looked up to. Like him. They look down on me, cos God... In all his wisdom, has seen fit to place me at the bottom of the heap. <laughs> I smell pretty bad too. But so would you if you spent most of your life in the stocks. When you're this poor and desperate, you'll risk anything to make ends meet. Because he's the money to buy his freedom. He makes a point of persecuting me in his courts. Grazing cows on my town moor. In the stocks. Selling bread or beer without my permission. Fine. Don't even ask about thieving. Or you'll have me here nailed to a post. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get a crick in my neck from looking up. To both of them.